Flames threatening homes, lives and livelihoods across Hood and Erath counties. One firefighter was burned fighting that fire. He's in good condition tonight, but he did receive burns to his face. This is all happening right now in Hood County, which is about 50 miles southwest of Fort Worth. Now the flames also stretch one county to the west in Erath County. WFA's William Joy has been covering this fire since this afternoon, watching it quickly grow. William, this was about 100 acres when it started around one this afternoon. We've heard reports it's now up to 6,000. Yeah, Teresa, it is growing fast. Right now we are in Lipan, just about three miles north of where this fire is right now. You can see it's continuing to be active behind me with crews heading down this road to go fight the flames. Earlier today, we saw the opposite situation. Trucks, cars, trailers headed the opposite direction as people were forced to evacuate. And it's easy right now to say that fortunately all that was lost were things that everybody made it out okay. But I can tell you that in these moments, these hours after people's lives have been upended, having talked to many people today, that is still only providing a small amount of comfort right now. It started on the side of the highway and in hours had consumed more than 6,000 acres. I'm just looking over there because I bet that's my place. The gas station off 377 became a place of refuge for Buffdale families who were forced to evacuate like Elizabeth Tubbs. Sad I can't get over there, <laughs> even though I probably couldn't do anything. There was little more anyone could do than watch, wait, and worry as the plume of smoke from the Big L fire moved quickly north. About close to 30 head of cows. That I'm concerned about. A neighbor relayed the news she'd been dreading. I guess I lost the horse barn in my house. I don't know what I'm going to do. Along the highway, Randy Thomas tried to put out hot spots. That's terrible. I mean, it's, it, I got a lot of friends that probably wiped out. More than a thousand people across three cities and two counties had to evacuate. The grass and the fire is burning so fast. We're having a hard time catching it. Fire Marshal Jeff Young said it moved as quick as the wind at 20 miles an hour, putting firefighters at risk of being overrun when they tried to get ahead of it. It's a monumental task. When it comes knocking on your back doorstep, it gets real, real quick. Flames came within 100 yards of Tyler Davis's back doorstep, but his house survived. People out here have a lot of land, a lot of cattle, and that costs a lot of money. And when that goes up in smoke, it changes lives. Trailers and trucks carried all they could as families stared on as long as they could. The flames eating through tall, dry grass that goes on for miles. It's just fuel. It's, it's, it might as well be gasoline. The crews obviously plan to continue working throughout the night. They say more evacuations are possible with this fire still only 5% contained. They also still don't know what caused it. Live in Lipan, I'm William Joy.